Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hansel C, and welcome back to another day in Minecraft without mining. Um, maybe with the pickaxe, that's not the best opening. Uh, but uh, last time we worked uh, a bit more on one of our two farm towers there on top with the sugarcane farm. But today uh, we will turn our attention back to uh, wood and we will build a farm for the net trees here in the back a um, few episodes ago we collected some items from the nether that we actually need in here and this farm is uh, not the newest version or the, the newest idea. Um, I think it's two years old uh, uh, a project by uh, Raceworks. And the nice thing about this is it's fully automatic, does not need a player and it's self-sustainable. So I think it's still a good concept. Um, we will not build the whole farm in one episode, but uh, I think we will split it in two parts. The first part, uh, the, the lower part where all the magic happens with the, uh, with the tree growth, and then the upper part uh, where we deal with bringing the trees down again. So, see you in a bit. We are not yet done with this first part here amidst this uh, colorful contraption. Looks a bit like a mess if you do not understand it. But we have come to the most difficult uh, part of the thing here where we have to place some hopper minecarts down here and have five by each side and we need to nudge them a bit over into the honey block because under the honey block is a normal hopper so eventually we will push a block in here so that uh, the hopper minecart picks up items on top of it and transfer it to the hopper down there. So this first one, that's the easier one. And now comes the difficult ones because we need to place them one higher. Um, do this, notch them in and then Break first the rail, then the block, and there we go. So I have to do that for three more times, and then we can see how we bring the block um, uh, into the minecart. Now, that was not too difficult if you have the right technique for it. But now we want to push these uh, nylon blocks down. And we have to do this with a piston. Uh, we can have it nicely like this. Uh, that's the wrong way. Um, and then I have normal block here. Yes, I do. Um, and we need to power them. Um, bit of redstone. And there you can see 
a potential problem because if a block is on top of the nylium, it can revert back to netherrack. But this can be fixed with a bit of, uh, of bone meal. There you go. And that's actually what uh, these dispensers here are for to make sure if these revert that we can fix them. And later on we will have another contraption here on the side where we basically can have an easy uh, way to switch the uh, green one with the, with the red one so we can uh, grow both kind of nether trees. But now let me finish this farm and then we can have kind of a, a look at uh, the different things here. We have reached the top of the farm or at least the top of what I intended to do in this episode. And here uh, we can see a bit of water flowing over hoppers. That's basically the collection system. And down here we have a bit of uh, redstone uh, on dispensers uh, that and they will actually be responsible for growing the trees. But up here we have different mechanism um, to basically shield uh, the things we have down here from the TNT that we will eventually use to break the trees. We have ender chest, we have uh, brewing stands, we even have some uh, juke boxes, and then of course. Uh, as long as we waterlock the things, does not take uh, the damage. And then here on the outside, um, the blast radius is, or the, the, the blast force is not that high, so we can get away with some half slabs on top of the hoppers. So basically, everything then goes idle uh, in here or in here and we have one filter there and the other filter sticks out here on this side and if we switch tree types we also have to switch the filters because um, in the filters we filter out the wood that we are harvesting because everything else can go through the uh, composter and we get bone meal out of that. And the bone meal supply, that's actually this line uh, under here, uh, which goes into uh, our droppers and dispensers. And it is important. Yeah, here we can see it. We have hopper upon hopper, and this is for the bone mill. And aside from this back line here, the front part is for collecting the drops. So we actually have to ensure that we fill these hoppers up beforehand before we can start the uh, the farm, because otherwise we will get in um, something else than bone meal in here. And then down here, we have a bit of uh, a system going on. That's basically the return line um, for the bone meal. We uh, compost here on this side. Um, not here because these composts are just for uh, uh, efficiency. Um, but basically how this thing happens 
is uh, there. Uh, those are the dispensers behind the nylon block. They are responsible for growing uh, fungus. And once that happens, uh, we can have the dispensers on top, which grows the tree. And then we push uh, everything out on this side and then eventually up uh, so that we make room down here for the next tree. And this uh, wiring here, uh, it's, it's all a bit complicated. It's different uh, uh, circuits uh, for different purposes. So uh, if you want an in-depth explanation, I highly recommend you check out the video from Racework. He does a great job explaining it much better than I can do. So I will send you over to his channel for that. But that's all for now. Uh, join me next time when we will build the upper half of this contraption. Goodbye.